Hi, I'm Chef Marcel Vigneron of Wolf Restaurant, and today I'm going to be making my mushroom risotto. This is a recipe that's really uh, dear to me, that my mom used to make for me all the time. And this is one of the first recipes that I can remember making with her. Originally my mom got me into cooking. She was kind of the, the sort of like spark that ignited my curiosity. And then it just became my occupation. I cooked all throughout high school. I started off dishwashing. And then my first trip to Europe was when I kind of came to the realization that I was going to do it as a career. I like the uh, oyster mushrooms because I'm just really fond of their flavor. And I mean, also they're just so cute. They're just lovely little mushrooms. I think you could pretty much substitute the oyster for any other mushroom. I mean, you could use a button, you could use a cremini, you can kind of whatever strikes your fancy. One of the things that takes out the intimidation factor with this particular recipe is just using sushi rice. I think the sushi rice is a little bit more forgiving than like a traditional arbario or a cannaroli. And then also it speeds up the whole cooking process, which is nice. Recipes are guidelines and it's important not to be afraid to deviate from the recipe. Well, I mean, that's how I kind of created this recipe was I didn't have traditional risotto rice and had sushi rice and wanted to make risotto. I basically just stir whenever I think is necessary, and I think the stirring is actually really important towards the end. You want to have your risotto like a little bit, maybe like more wet, and it has that nice relaxing look and approach to it, where it's like if I move it, it kind of falls into place, and it's not too stiff. You kind of want it to be a little bit more wet than you think, because when you add the Parmesan, the Parmesan is going to absorb some of that moisture. Just some helpful hints to, uh, to demystify the art of making risotto. Taste the rice along the way. You know, don't forget to stir. You can't stir the pot enough. You're not gonna like over stir the risotto. The risotto is, you know, one of our most popular dishes. And it's just one of those things that like everybody does, but we just kind of do it a little bit differently. It's nice to do something that's really simple and just do it well. Ultimately, cooking comes down to like ingredients and execution. And if you have really good ingredients and follow it up with great technique, you're gonna have a sound dish, no matter how simple it is, or as classic as a risotto. My mom is a classic mom. She's like very supportive and uh, you know, it's like, oh, it's so good. But still to this day, I don't, I don't think it can hold a candle to hers. Oh yeah, it's really good. Oh yes.